<laughs> we all know that Neil Patrick Harris is, is one of the kings of the stage and screen, but now he wants to introduce us to some of his favorite queens. He is out with a lighthearted and fun new competition <laughs> show, which he created and stars in. It's called Drag Me to Dinner. Neil, we want to get into it. It looks like a lot of fun, but first... You, my friend, are hitting a milestone. Indeed, I am. You are going 50? to turn 50. How does Neil Patrick Harris uh, celebrate 50? You what love you... parties. Yeah, you love I parties. I do love parties. My husband, David, is has been throwing crazy adventures for me since fi it's like 50 days to Out? 50. Wait, what? What has so he done? Every day since late April, I've received envelopes that have clues with puzzles that lead me to experiences. I've gotten 50... Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> I like experiences with my kids, like all of my Wait, favorite things. What, was, what has been, been one of the best yeah. so far? Oh, wow. Of the 50 experiences. Um, the, you know something called Sleep No More, yes. which mm -hmm. is sort of an immersive experience yes. in New York. On one of their off nights, I went there and uh, had dinner, j just the four of us. Okay. And then friends had, been, had flown in from Los Angeles and had learned some of the tracks and I had one-on-ones with just them. Okay. It was like very what? singular. Wait, that is our question. It was next level. And what are you going to possibly do for your birthday? It's already over. Yeah. I know. Uh, it's My birthday is on Thursday. <laughs> okay. and, I, and at least I'll know that then this will all be done. <laughs> because e every day I but don't so know what's happening next. you don't know next. what the, your birthday party is going to be? It's going to be a surprise from your husband? Or you don't? Yeah, there's a party with a bunch of friends. Because uh, I didn't want a big surprise party. Yeah. But I'm just looking forward to it. 50 for me is sort of... Chapter two, I've never felt better, happier, and I'm looking, I don't feel like it's aged. No. I just feel like now I can stand tall like an adult and, and educate. Well, speaking of people who are changing, your kids are turning 13, your twins. Indeed. Teenagers, that's another teen milestone. Twi teen twins will okay. keep you feeling oh, no. fresh. I was a teen twin. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's not always easy no, for the parents. it's not, and, the, you know, but it... With kids, every phase and stage is new. And so just when you think you know it, it changes yeah. again. And I think it's very humbling for everyone. Totally. I need to try and um, plead my case less with them and just be still and ignore more because they're <laughs> like, they know how to how to Get push buttons. buttons and push back and clap back. They're very smart kids. I know. It's hard, right? You, like yeah. We were just talking about, like, what do you not die on the sword by? Do you yeah. let your kids have cell phones? Yeah, cell phones for sure, but not uh, certain apps that yeah, keep yeah. them on. It's a constant conversation. It's hard, right? And it's hard to not vilify the screens. I like the screens, but when they revert to the screens, you have to take away the screens, which totally. makes the screen the enemy. So it's an interesting conversation. All right, yeah. let's, let's talk about this show, Drag Me to Dinner. It's so this much This is your fun. brainchild. Tell us about it. Oh, I just love the idea. I'm a big fan of, of drag culture, drag performances. Um, and I also was in Hedwig, and David, my husband, knows how to do throw parties. We've been guest judges on these competition shows before, and we thought combining the two, the competition show with the drag, and, and have two teams of uh, two pairs of drag queens compete to throw the best dinner party uh, was innately funny. And so it's more a, a comedic parody take on the genres. It's such a weird time in our culture where people have such polarized opinions on kind of demonizing that whole... On everything, yeah. but particularly yeah. that culture. For sure. And so is this a reason why you wanted to do this show now? It wasn't a reason at all, but I do think that the timing is weirdly fortuitous in that regard because I think a lot of people feel that drag... Uh, Queen's drag culture is somehow negative and gnarly and nasty when in point of fact... I've never been to a drag show where it wasn't filled with smiles and laughter and positivity and, and, and um, you know, people representing themselves well. And so Drag Me to Dinner is a hot mess of a show that's intentionally sloppy and fun, but allowing the queens to be seen in a positive light in, in a way that maybe people who have passed judgment haven't seen. Yeah. Do, you, um, do you, like, have conversations if someone is passing judgment? Do you, do you talk about it or do you just say, well, I'll let them be them? I think the best that we can do, Hoda, especially in the month of June, which is Pride Month, is uh, be a, your own example of how you want to be. Yeah. People have opinions, and if you get angry at those opinions, then you're in a fight. Yeah. People have their opinions, but you represent yourself well. You know, if you are afraid of drag queens and you watch Drag Me to Dinner, I suspect you might laugh and yeah. maybe, yeah. I don't know, my intention's not to make you change, but if you get a laugh from it, it might... 
it might change your outlook yeah. in, in its own way. Yeah. Um, your, your husband, David, is, uh -huh. has a very specific role on the show, yes. Life of the Party. Yeah. Yes. Is He's that... sort of the, the party expert. <laughs> He's one of the judges. <laughs> but you didn't Tim, want to call it party expert. The you... Tim Gunn of it all. No, I didn't want, he didn't want to call it an expert. I don't know. Yeah, it feels pretentious. a bit pretentious. So, and he also, uh, his aunt is on the show, a woman named Sue Chef. It's actually David and Drag. And she does a lot. It comes in Sue wreaks Chef. havoc. Sue, she's, a, she's, she's messy too. So yeah, we're, he's co-created it with you. He'll be yeah. on with us next week. I think he's we're making room for making him. Making yes. a beverage. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, which we're excited about. Uh -huh. um, okay, you also have this newsletter. How do you do everything? We wondered. You've got books. You've got newsletters. I, honestly, you've got shows, it's you've almost, got, you were on Broadway. You're on Broadway. Like, you, you hosted the Tony. You have twins. Are you tired? <laughs> too much. What is? Are you tired? I, I don't know. You I'm, have a wine we drank last week. We drank your wine. Thank it was you. In a box. Yes. It was cute. It had like. Oh, you have a magic kit or something. Yeah. What is happening? Why are you mad at me? <laughs> you don't, oh, we're too much talent. You know why? We're not doing enough. That's we're why. Not. That's why. I am very fortunate that I get to do things that I like doing. And so uh, things come up, and I, it, Wondercade is a newsletter. <laughs> Wondercade.com. It's free. I send it on Wednesdays. There's no algorithm to it. It's just stuff in food and entertainment and travel and things that I think are interesting and worth Party talking planning. about. I've always loved circuses, and I've always loved making a, mixing a cocktail yeah. and going to fun places. I think life is lived in, in a fun way. Yeah. Not crazy hyper, but just elevated. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, that's what I've been... You're so interested about. in we, so much. We're kind of well, mad. we are. Um, but, but we you know what? Well, you're going to stick around because we, in honor of your new show, we are going to be serving up a sweet competition of our oh, own. Oh, yeah. Get ready. We're going down. Yes. After For all this. those talents, bye. <laughs> And we're back with Neil Patrick Harris, who's got a new Hulu show. It's called Drag Me to Dinner. Okay, Neil, we love a good cooking we contest love around here. I see. We actually have participated in several of these. So, in honor of your show, we've come up with our own competition. Yeah. It's called Drag, Drag Me, me to, to Dessert. dessert. <laughs> All right, our special Drag guest is dessert. the host of Drag Me to Dinner, comedian, actor, and self proclaimed hardest working <laughs> middle aged man in show business, Murray Hill. Murray Hill. Murray Hill. Murray Hill. Murray Hill. Murray. This is exciting. Okay. I'm, I'm happy okay. you're here, but now I'm the shortest person by a mile. <laughs> Sorry, we're wearing high, high heels. Yes. All right. Um, what's it like working with Neil? Oh, it is so fun, and he's my boss, and he gave me $50 to say this. <laughs> I love him. He's the best <laughs> guy I've ever worked with. All right. So, Marie, tell us how this is going to work. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have the ultimate cake decorating competition. Okay. okay. All right. So you each have identical setups here. So take a look at all this stuff. Okay. All right. Yep. And you got a, uh, we're going to have a, a we're going to do with candy. We got icing. We got like candy and all this stuff. Yeah. All please. right. And you have one minute. One minute. Okay. okay got it. Murray, what are you looking for? Are you looking for no, aesthetics no. or are you looking for taste? Uh, are we talking about the cake or are we talking about something else? Okay. All right. Now, ladies, and Neil, yes. we got one minute. I'm going to decide who the winner is. All right, can we start the clock, please? Yes. All right, go. Go. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my God. Take okay. it easy. Oh, Take no. it easy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The double stack. You got this. You got this. Okay. That looks great. Okay, she's great with her hands. I'll be getting a close-up on the hands. Yeah. And obviously, it's been to the gym. I like it. I like it. Ready? Okay. It's pretty, isn't it? Uh, look, uh, it's not that pretty. Maybe put some stuff on it. Okay, I'm going to, Mike. Okay, this looks like the work of a gay man. This is beautiful. <laughs> wow. Okay, this looks great. Uh -huh. Okay, Murray, 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 This Murray, is beautiful. Murray, do you like that? Um, no. sure. No, Murray. Sure. No, I think you're a great gal. Okay, thank you, Murray. Okay, this is beautiful. I'm not sure what that wow. is. Did you have a little accent there? Time. Uh, what are we at? Tell us, Murray. How much time in this fake competition? Ten seconds? Oh, my God. Ten on fake, Murray. This is ten. God, that, I'm stressed out. I didn't even do anything. Wow. What, the, what did you do that? <laughs> that's my ice cream topper. All right, studio. Wait, well, oh, wait, audience, that's cute. Audience, give her a round of applause for this. This is. Wow. That's, that is cute. All right, now. That looks like a that's great. Baskin Robbins cake. Thank you. Now, uh, tell me about your, uh, your right. wonderful it presentation here. A lot of rainbow, a lot of sprinkles. <laughs> I did this. Look what I did. Look, look. 
Just so you know, it's all the way wow. around. Wow. What am I looking oh, for? I don't know, but it's really tasty. Do you like it, Murray? I, oh, the way that you looked at me? I love it. Nice. <laughs> all right, wonderful. All right, Jenna, uh, this looks like a situation of carbohydrates, healthy stuff, and then someone who um, got out of control with this. Okay. So, Murray, whip it. this is, I didn't do a whip it. Nobody was injured. This is homemade whipped cream just put in this bottle. I put some whipped cream nicely around because I like a whipped cream um, topper. Yep. And then I put Oreo. some Oreos around because everybody loves okay. an Oreo. Okay. And then some fruit okay. center. All right. Okay. And, what do you and, think? Uh, and what would you do with the side here? Can we... Uh, anything, maybe, if you turn it? Is anything? Oh, look, right. there's something. There, there we go. Let's hear it for that, everybody. That right. is... Nicely done. It seems like Let you're impressed. Let me help out there. All right. It seems like you're impressed. Now we're okay, cool. let's go to the star, the I went, boss. I went for the, uh, the Murray Hill special. Oh. Is that Murray? Oh. That's creative. You know what? Dang. It's he got wins. a mustache. It's got the blue glasses. And it's got uh, a, a lot of food in my mouth. I yeah, no, those are those teeth. Are those are meant to be two oh, rows of teeth. teeth. Oh, sorry, you right. lost a tooth. So, All right, that is fantastic. All right. I have my decision. Oh, my gosh. All right, can we bring out the prize? What is the prize? Oh. All right, it is the same prize that we use for drag meat dinner. <laughs> okay. and He's greater? Literally, it right. is the same prize. We took it from one of the winners. <laughs> All right. It's the glorious so then, golden grater. Okay. That's right, because one of you is great, and the other one is greater. <laughs> nice, get it? So, that joke. I didn't write that. I didn't write that. Great. All right, here we go. The winner is Neil Patrick Harris! <laughs> You Narcissism deserve, works deserve, every time. You are, you are either boss, but I will say you do win. Snippetism. Way to go. Murray, nice. you're the best. Second place and third runner. What? <laughs> Why did you give me last? <laughs> well, it's okay. Okay, Daddy's Murray, good. we adore you. Thank Neil, you. thank you so much. This oh, is a great show. The entire you. season of Drag Me to Dinner. It's available now, y'all. Just binge it. Stream it on Hulu.